This wasn't a radar jammer in the familiar sense. It was a Trojan horse hiding within the network itself and slipping past filters that once filtered everything else. For the first time, Israeli jets were about to turn themselves into illusions, stretching the truth across radar screens until even the most advanced operators could no longer tell what was real. And in that moment, the hunters became shadows, preparing for the strike window that would open only once. What if an aircraft could be in five places at once, yet never in the real one. That question suddenly became more than theory as Israeli F-15I strike jets crossed into the zone controlled by some of the toughest radar systems in the region. Mounted inside the aircraft was the SPS-2110 Electronic Warfare Suite, a system built not simply to blind enemy radars, but to confuse them at their very core. This suite didn't operate as a lone jammer. It worked in coordination across multiple aircraft, linking signals so that what appeared on a radar screen was not one plane, but entire patterns of movement that didn't exist. Lebanese and Syrian operators sitting inside darkened control rooms had one job, scan for intrusions, lock on, and let the fire control systems finish. What they saw instead was impossible. Their scopes began flickering with targets that seemed to arrive from several directions at once. On one screen, an approaching formation split into three groups. On another, a contact that had been moving straight north suddenly stopped moving altogether, as if hovering motionless at jet speed. To the operator accustomed to clean tracks, these signatures looked less like enemy maneuvers and more like their systems had glitched, but the hardware wasn't broken. The disruption came from Digital Radio Frequency Memory Technology, or DRFM. This system didn't just emit noise, 